Las Vegas. Known as America's Sin City, this casino town deep in the parched Nevada desert has become world famous as the capital of in-your-face kitsch. But right in the center of the lurid Las Vegas Strip, amidst all the neon and the novelty, is planted a giant slice of European-style splendor. The Bellagio is literally the pinnacle of excess. It's astonishingly different. It's luxy. It's classy. It's posh in a way that so few things in Las Vegas actually are. When it opened in 1998, this was the most expensive hotel ever built. Not just in Vegas, but in the entire world. When you first walk into the Bellagio, you immediately realize this place is so different from any other hotel in Las Vegas. Costing $1.6 billion to build, the hotel has nearly 4,000 guest rooms, including 512 suites, where a night stay could set you back anything up to 5,000 pounds. There are five outdoor pools, two wedding chapels, an 1,800-seat theater, and enough spas, salons, and fitness rooms to reanimate the dead. It has its own luxury shopping mall, an art gallery, 20 restaurants, 12 bars, and to top it all off, a lake plonked on top of eight acres of Las Vegas's most valuable real estate. To make sure their guests are under no illusion about just how posh this place really is, the hotel has forgone a traditional lobby chandelier in favor of something a teeny bit more flash. Right above me is one of the most magnificent pieces of artwork anywhere in Las Vegas by a master artist, Dale Chihuly. The sculpture actually took two years to make. There's a total of 2,000 glass flowers on the ceiling. Reputedly costing $10 million, it's the largest glass sculpture in the world. And it takes a team of 10, three hours a day, just to dust it. And just in case the guest is so rich that a $10 million glass flower sculpture leaves them underwhelmed, the hotel has a backup plan to assault their senses with the real thing. Welcome to the Bellagio Conservatory. As you can see, we're pretty artistic in what we do. Jerry Bolan is responsible for all the hotel's horticulture, and he's a man who loves to get a reaction out of the guests. Usually it's wow, like W-O-W, -W, wow. The hotel conservatory houses five floral displays a year. The theme today is Japan Journey, Magical Kansai. Behind me is the Osaka Castle, a well-renowned, the Nambia Temple. This piece is uh, all uh, fresh-cut carnations. There's about 12,000 potted plants, uh, and then we'll go through about 30,000 fresh-cut flowers for the show. What do you think of these topiaries? I'm amazed every time I come in. And for Jerry and his team, every little helps. On average, 20,000 hotel visitors a day stop to gawp at the displays, and each season, it takes a small army to switch the theme. We do the show in a six-day period, and we work 24 hours a day with a crew of about 125 people to fill those three shifts. So, you know, naturally, we're running forklifts, big props, big pieces. This is no ordinary garden makeover. 
uh, we have tractors and lifts and we got a crane in the middle of the room and we're lifting big pieces and taking them out through the hallways. And despite the fantastical scale, even the tiniest detail must be right for Las Vegas' highest rollers. How are you? So what happened? Well, I'm trying to fix this, uh, this brick right now. Oh, it was uh, out of line? Yeah. Amongst the cheap and cheerful hotels of America's Sin City sits a world-famous European-style Palace of Posh. But if a big spender was in town, the hotel had an even more luxurious trick up its sleeve to lure them in. And today is no different. To put it really simply, if you're a somebody in Vegas, they know you're coming. They don't let you walk into the casino just to go over to a slot. They know you're getting off your private jet or they know that you're coming by a chauffeured vehicle and they're ready to greet you and give you the royal treatment. These are some of the most expensive pieces of property in America and you don't even know that they exist. Jenny Shea is services director for this hidden millionaire's row. This is one of our exclusive villa. Not many people get to see what's behind these doors, so let's go. This palatial two-bedroom pad is six times the size of the average British semi. This is our living room and the bar area. The secret villas that are in all of the major hotels now, they don't have a price tag because you can't put a price on these rooms. Wow. They have art, you know, a, one piece of art that's worth over a million dollars. This is a formal dining room with a kitchen connecting to it. They have famous designers that came in and designed all the suites. The furniture costs more than a house. Each bedroom has his and hers bathroom. I bet you can fit quite a few people in there. Join the party. Not surprisingly, all the villas come with their very own Mr. Carson. Hi, Zoran. Hi. I just got a notification the guest is arriving in 10 minutes. At all the big Vegas hotels, it all comes down to money. And if they think that you are swinging big, and that you're gonna bring them a lot of money, they will roll out the red carpet. We create a guest portfolio for every guest that stays here. Has the room temperature be set at 65 degrees? The portfolio essentially contains all the information that we need to know about the guests. Their temperature liking, their pool temperature, um, certain flour they may like, um, certain food and beverage they like. And let's get the champagne open. The goal is never to say no to the guests. And that's always my personal goal, and that's the goal the butler are trained to do so. Uh, we will try to accommodate any request possible within the legal limit. We try to follow the motto of Vegas. What happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. This is really their personal space to do whatever they want. They can walk around naked if they like. We have our dry sauna, the workout facility here, a massage room, even a private salon that we can bring our technician up here to provide a service. Nail services, facial, massage, haircut, anything that you can think of, we can perform here in the villa. We have a lot of fun stories um, here at the villa. Um, one of the guests would like to do some high-end shopping, but without leaving the villa. So essentially, we create the villa into a mini boutique uh, shop here, including Chanel's, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, to create that shopping experience for her. Each villa has its own private patio, along with a pool and jacuzzi. The guests can enjoy their privacy here completely off-site from anyone else. Everything they want is just a phone call away or a click away. Uh, a butler will be here uh, within minutes. 